Hello everyone, Praise Scooter here, and welcome back to more of Tears of the Kingdom. Last time we had a long-winded discussion about changing things up a little bit, even if it's the same thing. And now, we're encroaching on hot. I can already tell it's way up there. I feel like it'd almost be worth it to go back up to the bargainer and glide straight over to that from there, but... I'm gonna make myself a problem. I'm gonna be a problem. And everybody has to deal with it now. Although, I think this may be the last, uh, at least surface level wise, this may be the last uh, light route that's in the cold regions of Hyrule. Huh. Sir, what is your weapon? We're kind of out, out in the boonies, so what is your weapon? It's gotta be special, right? Uh, hello? Oh, Feathered Edge. Uh, is it worth dropping something for it? Yeah. Yeah. Feathered Edge. Uh, this one special thing is... Oh! It has knockback. Like, strong knockback. So that's kind of a mechanic that's in this game, although we might not be able to talk about it to great depths. Also, this is going to be the longest climb of our life right now. This is a this is a mechanic that's, actually, that's in the game. I feel like it's added just for this game. We haven't talked about it too much, even though we have had access to this mechanic, oddly enough, since the Tutorial Island, or the Temple of Time area. We've had access to this mechanic for a long time. Uh, weapons, some weapons, you can either affix stations, like, you can affix a board. Or I guess a plank you use for a raft. You can affix a raft, a raft plank to any weapon, and it would have the same effect as we have swinging this feathered edge. Basically, if you can make a large flat surface and attach it to something and swing it in a fashion that would be a sweeping motion, so to say, you can you can basically make a, well, probably the wrong term, but you can make a gust spell for yourself to use. And no enemy is impervious to this wind effect. Maybe the Gibdos are the outliers, actually, now that I stand here and th think about it. Dang it. Get up there. Just go up a really long way, please. Like, almost all the way, please. Actually, that was almost all the way. Holy cow. Um, I think the Gibdo is maybe the only thing that uh, resists this. But even then, wind, at least in my brain, wind is an element. So I feel like using... Uh, maybe you could even use like the wind effect to blow the armor off a of Gibdo. And then turn around and smack it with the blade part. But with every good thing, there is a negative thing. Otherwise, it would just be over overpowered. You can use this to blow enemies back and even knock enemies down. And continually knock them down. And continually knock them down. And keep pushing them away from you. These weapons, though strong... Uh, the, this weapon, though strong, I may ditch pretty quick here. Just because of the absurdity... The absurd stupidity, that is how it works. Well, yeah, it's 22 power. I was about to say, why is this so much weaker? And then I remember, oh, yeah. I'm going to do something really stupid. Hey. Clamor, Clamor time. I love Clamor, Clamor. It's like Hunter, Hunter, except everybody watches it. <laughs> Actually, everybody watches Hunter, Hunter, I'm pretty sure. I don't. I'm, I'm the one outlier, but I'm pretty sure almost everybody watches Hunter, Hunter. Hell, uh... I'm just going to say colleague. I won't name names because because uh, name dropping is tacky. But I will just say a colleague of mine that normally doesn't even have time really to watch myself because he is busy with his own work and other and other people's works. Like even he found the time to watch Hunt, or he even found interest and watched Hunter Hunter. So I just have no excuse for not watching it. Other than I'm stubborn and don't want to watch it. Oh, right. Hey, did you did you remember that labyrinths are a thing? Because I remember labyrinths are a thing. I did. Anyway, let's uh climb up and around here. I want to get. Is this a spot I can stand? Please, I can stand here. Awkward. I know I've climbed up the side of these labyrinths before. 
I just gotta remember roughly where I stood when I did it. I guess it was here. Link stand. Thank you. But yeah, so... Oh yeah, the feathered weapons. I'll keep this what I'll keep this on me just so I can show it off in detail, but just know that like I don't like using these weapons. May okay, actually no, I just thought of a reason a way they can be useful. Blink stand up, please, thank you. I just thought of a way that these can be useful. Is if you are good at uh stance dancing, I'm gonna call it, which is not the proper term for it, but I'm still gonna call it that anyway. If you're good at stance dancing with your weapons, you know, you swing a weapon when an enemy goes flying away, shoot him with a bow, that whole stance dance. If you're good with that, like, this would be probably be a good weapon. In fact, I think that's why I designed like that, because Rito, we haven't met them in this game, but Rito, you know, they're, they are uh, very much skilled archers. So pushing their enemy away would be a very good thing. And yeah, that is the, I think it's the last of the cold. I'm just taking a quick peek here. I'm going to say yes. But yeah, that, this is the last of the cold light roots. Congratulations are in order, and they all go to me. No, twas wrong. I twas the fool today. Don't know why we're suddenly going this weird Cockney British accent, but we're doing it. Twas I that was the fool today, and I will rue to regret it. Regret it, I says. Oh, uh, I can't even see that. Holy cow. Well, you now see, pro even though it's, you know, peninsula-wise, so it's not like a perfect representation, but, well, no, we saw it earlier. But yeah, you now, at least twice now in, from this session, you have now seen what it looks like if you completely blow past a light route. It's just this very awkward circle on your map. Hey, wait, can I see that in the map? Yes. Have a heart. Can't sold it. What do you mean you sold your heart? Sir! Thur? Thur. How did you sell your heart? Thur? Don't ask why I just suddenly decided to develop a lisp for this bit. I've developed a lisp for that bit. And you cannot tell me why. I can't even tell me why. And I made the bit. Can I see? Aha! I can see it. I am also tempted to get a couple more... Uh, Ice Lizalfos uh, trophies, but let's... I'm going to hold off on it. Just because the weapons that are useful with it, the Gerudo weapons... Like, I'm getting it... I'm getting all my Gerudo weapons from... From uh, Ganondorf, oddly enough, of all of all places. I'm getting it from Daddy. You ever say something, and then as after it leaves your mouth, you go, I should not have said that. And now that I've said that, people are going to start saying things about me. Frankly, I don't care, but people are going to start saying things about me. Oh, I'd rather not open up that bag of worms. I feel like it's the bag of worms is going to get open just naturally while I'm, while I'm going through today's recording session, but I'd rather not open up that bag of worms. I'd rather just leave the worms in, in their, in their uh, little styrofoam cup at the bait shop. Where they're just, so, where they'll be happy for the next two days. What do you mean next two days? They live forever, right? You don't know insects very well, do you? That will be the last cold. Please don't make a fool. Please don't make me the fool. Oh, that makes me feel better. I've definitely marked a fight out there in the middle of that area. If I haven't, I'm going to do it right now before I teleport away. Oh, no, I haven't, but I can definitely tell that is a fight up there. Am I curious enough to go to it? He says, running right to it. We'll see what it is, and then we'll probably end up teleporting away to this light route. Kind of continue on. If I don't like what I see at this light route, I'll probably actually come from up here and jump down. But that's not right here or now. That's going to be in the future like 10-ish minutes in the future. 
put the timer on now. Scooter, do not put the timer on, because I don't, I don't, I don't know if this is the middle, the beginning, the middle of an end of an episode. I'd rather not make you do work that's going to just have to branch into another episode. Yes, I, yes, Scooter and editing, who doesn't have to worry about, or sorry, and yes, I'm editing right now. Technically true. Um, Scooter and recording is taking pity on Scooter and editing, for once in his life. Scooter in editing is pleased. Scooter in editing has thrown confetti at the screen. Oh no, I made Scooter in do something. I've ruined it. I do love these, like, I, I don't know me in editing because effectively me in editing is almost like split personality disorder, even though it's not. It's just how bad my memory is sometimes. Scooter in editing and Scooter in recording are two totally different people. Scooter in, ed in editing is a very pensive man. <laughs> Not pensive. Is a very, uh... Very lax. Very, well, and mo in a lot of cases, lazy man. Unless he gets stricken with a very good idea. It's, uh, well, it's something I'm gonna do. So, editing Scooter is... He does the work, but he would rather not do extra work. Recording Scooter... Is out here going, yes, you will. And then Egg Scooter has to go, God damn it, I hate me. And then somewhere along the line, someone chases the monkey up a tree. I don't know. I, I, didn't, I didn't read the book. I'm going to do something stupid. Stupider. Caveat. I'm going to go for raw damage over rock breaking on this one. I think that's just a blue. This is definitely not a base frox. This is definitely like a blue frox. But it's not the, but it's not like scaled up to where we are in terms of power right now. Which is weird to say because I'd say that and then I look in the corner and go, huh, I'm at half health. With two hearts. Hey, if I do this, will you hear me? No, you won't. I'm gonna have to zip over here. Yeah, that his underarms aren't like glowing a weird color. I don't think he's white. Oh god, he's white. We'll find out in a second here after I start the, this fight. Yeah, he might be blue. I'm hitting that rock in the back. I think. Yeah, I'm going over. I'm going for raw damage over. Oh no, it's white. I am actually going for raw damage over everything else. Are you? What are you going to do? Jump? Jump. Jump again. And landed on me. Fantastic. We've done this song and dance so many times. I think I'll just include game overs at this point until I get to the end of this fight. And there he goes. Man, I went through a lot of weapons in that. I broke a lot of weapons fighting that dude. Oh well. I'm just low I'm actually just a little upset because it actually ate a lot of the uh rocks. Anyway, I think I had yeah, I had a couple untouched uh weapon I had at least one untouched weapon in the fuse. So let's I guess just, I guess just that. I guess I'm getting so many of these, I'm fighting so many of these uh, blue-white froxes, I might as well just use their horns. Not like I'm breaking laws by not using their horns. Hmm, what's this? Citation, huh? What's it say? You're being sued for not using them. Oh. Here, let me give you the number. Of, let me give you the number of my agent. He, he let me give you the my, number of my agent right here. He'll uh he'll help sort this out. Sir, this is just a post-it note that says I owe you one. Hey, where are you going, sir? Sir? Dodge the law. These enemies respawn in this camp. Just repopulate. I should eat a little bit of meat. Actually, I've got a lot of, a. Uh, oh, that was a big meat. Oops. Oh, well. I've actually got a lot of uh, cooking materials, both, uh, 
Oh, there's nothing in here. Never mind. I've got a lot of cooking materials again. From, uh, mainly from Amiibo, but also from my adventures out he uh, down here, so... I can... Yeah, I can start, uh... I'll probably after the en end of the... End of get, uh, when I get tired of doing my recording today, which is... Might be soon. I don't know. Depends on how I feel in a few minutes here. Basically, when I'm done with this recording session, I'll... I, uh, I'll probably put in a little montage of what I've cooked up. I know it's a stupid thing. I realize in editing it looks stupid. And I know it's stupid. But I know if I don't show me cooking these foods in post, somebody's going to have a fit and think I just hacked them in. Or that I'm not using legit hardware to play this game. Or some other aggravated reason to be mad at somebody playing video games on the internet. I, I see you. I know what you do. I'm not stupid. I'm not that stupid, rather. Yeah! Less, less, less dish effort. That was a talus, I realize. It'd be ironic if I were to use an ice talus sledge on a talus. Oh, luminous talus, even. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mark his butt. Eh. Uh, close enough. I'm gonna take the long way around to get to him. I feel like this is actually going to be the only instance I'll use this. I'm not going to use... I'm not going to use this weapon I do any actual fighting, I've decided. But... I am at least... Going to use up this weapon, because it's a nice it's a nice weapon. And now it has a nice boulder. That's a nice boulder. No, I cannot sound like that, man. Don't ask me to sound like that, man. I will just take... I'll just quote, and then leave it well enough be. Oh, that is definitely somewhere big and flat to fight in. Oh, that's somewhere big and flat to fight in. Oh, why would you do this to me? I just got done fighting a, a frox. Don't make me do it again. Oh, it sees me. Well, let's cue this up just to be safe. I'm going to fly. And I'm going to shoot your weak point. Hey, I think I, I, think I got rid of the wind property on this. Leaving. Got it, last second. I'm a, I'm a genius. Avoid the fall damage. His fall damage, rather. Haha, <laughs> boulder! <laughs> I am also way off the mark of where it was. Still gonna mark where it is, though. You'll never know when I'll... You'll never know when I'll need to come back for one of these. Okay, now, do I have anything to confuse that onto? No, so it will be this instead. I like how I use this long enough to... I like how I use this boulder long enough to get this talus heart. Oh, no, I didn't need to do that. Fusing. Now, actually, this luminous, uh, luminous stone talus heart will be useful in a different fashion. You. Tonight. You. Uh, this will be useful in a different fashion. Because it's dark out here and, well, Luminous Stone is a little weird. We haven't seen it in the wild yet, so I guess this is as good a time as any to talk about it. And I was about to say, and Frox. And there it is. We're going to use this. Well, no, we're going to use this up first and then we'll use the Luminous Stone. So Luminous Stone is a bit weird in that... It has lighting properties on it. I also just realized I... Oh, no, I did mute. Uh, loot it. All right, and then just plop a... Oh, man, I can even tell the landscape we're going to be in to fight these. Hey! Big and stupid. Yeah, that's why I'm calling you out. I'm... I'm mad I hit that. I'm the person playing. I should not be mad, but I'm mad I hit that. Anyway. But yeah, Luminous Stone is a little weird. It's a little weird in that uh, anytime it's nighttime out, it shines like a crazy diamond. But in a... Uh, oops, not that. This one.
Uh, nope, I gotta shoot him. I gotta shoot the mouth. But yeah, anytime it's night, it, it glows. It'll glow in the dark. I'm just getting rid of this. Sorry, big man. I have to do it this way. Uh, I have to do it this way. I have to do it this way. Uh, I guess we're gonna do it this way now. We're gonna play the game your way. Oh, oh, for only a minute though. Oh wait, I have this. No. Use this. You said you're not gonna use this as the weapon. Luminous stone glows in the basically glows in the dark. It's a glow. It's a it's a nightlight. So anytime. So. If, if it was dark out, if it was in a dark place like it is now, or nighttime, it, it would behoove you to like maybe attach a, a luminous stone to the front of your shield or on a weapon or something of that matter. It would be worth your time to attach attach it to something because it would act as a lamp. Like you can't see it well too well right now because we're literally a walking lamp. But... Just know for the future that if you go into a dark place, a luminous stone will help light your path. You can actually kind of see it a little bit lighting up. Just a tiny bit. With that discussion about night lights over, I do want to thank you all so much for watching this episode. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.